Hi, this is Mrs. Scordillis reading to you Volcano Rising by Elizabeth Roosh, illustrated by Susan Swan. Kaboom! Most people think volcanoes are either sound asleep or blowing their tops off in fiery ash spewing catastrophes. But volcanoes are not just disruptive. Much more often, volcanoes are creative. They grow taller and wider. They form majestic mountains and they build new islands where there were none before. Both creative and destructive eruptions start with gooey melted rock called magma. Magma from deep in the earth rises up a gigantic straw-like tube to a vent or opening. If magma makes it to the earth's surface, it's called lava. A burst of lava is an eruption. Pow! Gases blast lava out in an explosive eruption. Hiss! Gases and lava slowly seep out in a creative eruption. Gas determines whether an eruption creates or destroys. Rising gas pushes lava out of a volcano. In destructive eruptions, gases get tapped, trapped inside thick magma or are blocked by plugs in the vents. Pressure builds until lava, ash, and gases explode all at once, like soda from a shaken can. In creative eruptions, vents are open and gases escape slowly, like when you carefully unscrew a soda bottle. Lava bubbles and sprays like water from a hose or oozes out like toothpaste from a tube. Layers upon layer of lava piles up, forming lava domes. Over time, peaceful eruptions can build mountains. Creative eruptions occur three times more often than violent ones. They happen all over the world in all kinds of different places. A creative eruption can start with the ground swelling a tiny bit each year. Magma gathers underground, creates a bulge that may one day make a new mountain. In the Cascade Range in central Oregon, three composite volcanoes, massive cones made from layers of both lava and ash, sit in a tight cluster as if having a tea party. They're called the Three Sisters, North, Middle, and South Sister. But wait, what's this? A large area next to South Sister rose four inches, 10 centimeters, between 1996 and 2000 and continued to rise. This uplift is called is caused by magma pooling a few miles under the surface. Scientists think a new volcano, West Sister, may join the party sometime, giving us yet another spectacular mountain to explore. Sometimes creation happens more quickly. Volcanoes can appear out of nowhere. One day, the ground cracks and ash spurts out, forming a new volcano. Volcanoes even make mountains underwater. If these submarine volcanoes grow high enough, their tips form a new island. Some volcanoes secretly erupt under glaciers, hiding growing mountains deep under thick ice. Greenville Islands, um, ice, sorry, Iceland's most frequently active volcano lies beneath the country's largest great glacier. Vanayakyal, with only a bit of its rim exposed, underneath, the vast ice caps is a hot spot, a place where lots of magma from Earth's mantle rises to the surface. This 
makes for a very creative volcanic environment, causing Iceland to constantly grow in size. Creative eruptions can continue for a really long time. Whoosh! Fountains of red lava squirt high into the air. Gurgle, stinky lava, screams to the shore. Tss. Fluid lava hits the ocean, steaming and harden, it hardens to form new land. Most volcanoes have both destructive and creative eruptions. Wham! They blow their tops, they spurt, gurgle, and scrape. They get down to business of building a new dome. Kaboom! Kabam! Bam! Boom! Even the most dangerous volcanoes, super volcanoes, can do creative work. Between gigantic eruptions, they can erupt gently for many years, repairing the scarred land. Hundreds of thousands of years ago, the Yellowstone supervolcano had three gigantic eruptions that blanketed most of the United States with ash. So much magma exploded out from underground that the surface collapsed, swallowing mountains and crea creating a gigantic crater called a cal caldera. Since the last destructive eruption 640,000 years ago, 30 gentle lava flows have nearly filled in the caldera. Some of these lava flows have been thick and widespread, as large as 130 square miles, twice the size of Washington, D.C., but the flow oozed slowly, moving at most a few hundred feet per day, smoothing out the land over thousands of years. To save roads, houses, and harbors, people have tried to stop creative eruptions, but even gentle lava flows are hard to halt. Still, people are rarely hurt by creative eruptions because they can outwalk or outrun them. In fact, we inch up as close as we can to the eruptions, even underwater, to watch the landscape changing. Scientists sent underwater robots to ha hover feet from submarine volcanoes, observing ash and pillow lava pulsing from the vent, waiting for an, an island to be born. Visitors stroll right up to the bubbling lava leaking out of Kilauea, feeling the heat squinting at the red hot glow as an island expands. Hikers climb to Mount St. Helen crater rim, smelling the rotten egg gases, hearing the rumbling of new rocks being made, watching as a volcano rebuilds itself. Creative eruptions give us all a chance to witness the power of a volcano rising. Awesome. This was a great book. Hope you enjoyed it.